What is going on YouTube? Old Tom Rambler 69. Well, I decided I better make a video because uh, we've been working on this project since the last week of December. And it was finally, as of yesterday, I got the chassis 99% done. So I figured I'd make a video before I go any further with it so you could see the rolling chassis. And what we've been working on is this here. That's a Revell Germany kit. It's 124 scale. It is a 1950 German Krupp Titan SWL80 which is a 8 ton truck. Straight truck. It was uh, very popular across Europe in the early 50s. It was the most powerful truck made at the time. It uh, was 210 horsepower and would do up to 55 miles an hour. So it's a very interesting history if you look up Krupp because Krupp was a company that's been big for making steel. They did railroad wheels, railroad track, and then they made, naturally, they did all tanks and U-boats and stuff for the German Nazis and World War I German Army. They made all the weaponry, all the big guns, so there's big history with Krupp, but after the war, they started making trucks. So it's really a neat looking truck. I really liked it, and uh, I'm very happy with building it. It's been a, been a fun time so far. Show you what we got over here, guys, on the rolling chassis. It, uh, <sighs> the kit is like, 400, like 400 plus parts, and I think the majority of them are in this chassis because I have been on this chassis, like I said, since the last week in December. Other than this build, the only thing I've built has been that Willie's Gasser as kind of a little side build with Mike when I was doing my buddy build. Kind of gave me a break from this for a little bit. So it's a pretty intense build. Uh, very, very highly detailed kit and uh, we're really enjoying how this thing's going together. Uh, being Revella Germany, this was a new tool kit in 1999. This is the re-release 2012. It's only been released once. There's no flash, no fit issues. Just a dream to build. So we're really enjoying that. But uh, let's give you guys a look at what's, what's going on here. It, uh, it's really pretty cool. Luckily it fits on this big turntable. We would have a real problem here for you guys. but. Anyway, we're spinning around here and give you a shot of what's going on. I just got these back fenders installed on here yesterday and uh, got them done. They're in uh, high gloss black, as you can see. And uh, I'll spin her around. Get you a look here at this uh, highly detailed engine. A little story on that. After, uh, after World War II, there was a ban imposed on Germany that they couldn't have a engine producing more than 100 horsepower. And they wanted more than 100 horsepower. No, I think it was maybe it was 150 horsepower. Maybe it was 150. Anyway, they wanted more than that in this truck. So what you're looking at is two three-cylinder croup diesels that they coupled together in the center with a gearbox. Each engine produced 105 horsepower, so then they had 210 horsepower. They found a loophole around this law. So it was really an ingenious thing that they had going on. That's why you have two pumps, two everything, because it's two motors. That's why there's two valve covers, two air cleaners. And when you see on this side over here, you'll see the same thing over here. These are your two blowers, and what's really neat in here is the drive belt to turn those blowers. There's eight fan belts in a row on that pulley to put to drive those two blowers. So it was really a neat design. So if you go back in my video, I'd asked, I'd showed this bumper a long time ago and I'd ask uh, if you guys knew what it fit. Well, this is what it goes to. It's in primer right now. It's going to be uh, gloss black, but uh, I ain't going to tell you what the body color is going to be yet. It's not going to be uh, it's not going to be black, but the rear fenders are black, front fenders are going to be black, and the bumper's going to be black. And uh, then we got the rest of the body color to do. 
I got some of the body color done on some parts, but uh, not all of it. But it's a really neat build, like I said. Very detailed. Having a lot of fun building it. This here is your spare tire rack. It all pulls down, folds back up. It's pretty cool. And, you know, being Ravel, Germany, it actually fits. Of course, if that was an AMT kit, I'm sure none of it would fit. But uh, that's a whole other story. But anyway, that's what we've been doing, guys. We've been having a lot of fun with it. So it's keeping me uh, occupied. So if you've been wondering what old Tom's been doing for, let me see, last week in December, we're in June. Well, that's a good six months. This is pretty much where all my time's been. So anyway, I'm not going to keep you guys long. I'm going to get back at it today, get some more done on this. Old Tom, Rambler69, tell me what you think, guys. We're out of here. Bye.